today we're going to be making some dishes with our English peas. These peas were planted back on October the 6th. This is on October the 11th. They had already came up. And then this is around the middle of October, toward the end, and this is around October 31st. This here was the first time I picked them, and it was actually on December 26th. So you get to see there the progression from planning to picking. Now come on with me in the kitchen, and let's cook these up. So like I said, I've picked these about three times, and actually this week, I pulled them up. This last windstorm really got a hold of them. And some of these I picked a little too young and they're hard to shell, but the majority of them are pretty easy to shell. I love shelling peas. And I love eating these as I shell. They taste so good. So for all you're gonna need for this dish is some chicken broth. So I had actually stored these peas in the fridge for a couple of days, wasn't quite ready to cook them yet. So get your chicken broth boiling, pour your peas in, and then turn it down to low and cover it, and just let it simmer for about five minutes. You could even turn the heat off and they would be fine. We like ours a little crunchy, not mushy. And these were so good. So the next way I'm going to prepare them is to make garden pea salad. We grew up on this. Love it. It's similar to the broccoli salad that I fixed last week. There's just a few different ingredients. It calls for four eggs, so you want to get your eggs boiling. I've got some warrior bunch of onions that I grew out in my root pouch. And these are a little young, but they're great. So I'm going to go ahead and peel these eggs. And these are some really fresh eggs. They're kind of hard to peel. I know there's some tricks to this. Sometimes I add a little salt, add a little vinegar, and makes them a little bit easier. I'm going to take my peas once I've washed them and just them, give them a quick dunk in some hot water, exactly two minutes, and then immediately cool them off with some really cold water. You don't want to cook them, you just want to blanch them, and again, just two minutes. Then I'm going to cut up some red onion, and you can use Vidalia onions, sweet onions, yellow onions, white onions. I've got some garlic chives here. These chives I cut back in October, and they have come out again. Here's those warrior bunch of onions. I'll use the entire portions of them, the tips and the green ends. Now the seasoning is the same that I used on the broccoli salad. It's some garlic parmesan, some roasted vegetable medley, some pepper, and some salt. So whatever seasoning mix you prefer, that's what you need to use. If you just want some salt and pepper, by all means, go for it. 
for the dressing, it's just like the other, a third cup of mayo and a third cup of sour cream. And you can use olive oil if you don't want to use the mayo. I've got one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and I'm going to use half my seasoning mix and just a little bit of honey. On the broccoli salad, I put too much honey. Mr. Hollis didn't quite like it, so I'm going to cut back a little bit here. Also, I'm only using, only using one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And then the last vegetable I'm going to put in here is some chopped celery. almost forgot this. I love that crunchy celery in with these. So I'm going to take my eggs that have cooled down and slice them. And this is a neat little slicer. I actually think I got it from Pampered Chef, but I've seen them in the big box stores, even at Publix. They just make your life a lot easier slicing eggs. So now let's mix it all together. So I'm just going to layer these peas, my chopped up onions, chives, bunch of onions, celery, add my eggs in there, and it would be fine without eggs too. I've got shredded cheese, this is some medium cheddar cheese. And then we'll add that, the rest of the seasoning that I didn't put in the dressing mixture. And then add that dressing. And since I only put one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, I don't have quite as much as I did last time. I got me some bacon going to top it off with over on the stove. And get that chopped up real fine and you can mix this bacon in or just save it and to the side and sprinkle it on top so let's see how it tastes now let's taste it mm. crunchy fresh mm. Very good. The variety I used here was Mr. Big P. I'll include the links in the description below. Thanks for joining me tonight. I'll see you next Tuesday night in the kitchen. Have a good week.